Hey everybody, welcome back. Welcome back to the series of video of Change Your Life 20 seconds at a time. My name is Denis Mayu, Master Coach, and today we're going to go to uh, chapter, chapter process number five. I believe it's page 66 on the book, page 66. See, we're going to do these two pages together. Not too long, but very powerful message. I recommend that you take some note or something here. Uh, let me get ready. I'm going to change my screen, and while I do this, I'm going to tell you that... Don't focus on the on the mispronunciation. Don't focus on the mistake I do. You can laugh with me. It's not going to be perfect. However, the content of this uh, chapter is very important. If you haven't, if you if this is the first time you listen to me right now, I recommend that you buy this book maybe and read the first all the chapters before at least the processes. Go on the universal laws chapter. Go to uh, ease and flow exercise and all this beautiful process. And um, if you, this is the first time you hear me, but I recommend that you will go back a couple videos and uh, study. It's going to be a lot easier for you if you start from the beginning. Anyway, if you start right there, let's do this. Process number five, manage your expectation. I mean that you have to be aware of how you think things will happen by managing your expectation. Some of you expect the worst all the time. Let's say that you are in a relationship and that everything is doing well. Still, for some weird reason limit or limiting belief, you start to doubt. You start thinking that this relationship chance will probably not last for several reasons. It could be somebody tells you that you have no chance. It could be a past relationship, self-sabotage, belief, limiting belief. For whatever reason, you're thinking that this is not going to work. A few years, a few years, a few weeks or a month later, boom, the relationship is over. And you think and you will see things like, I knew it, I saw it coming. Or worse, you will see, I felt it coming. Remember when we see this, right? I feeling, I felt it. Feeling is a vibration. I saw it coming, I knew it. But feeling is the word that when you say to somebody, I feel enthusiasm or I feel depressed, be very careful how you're going to use that word. Because that to me, the word feeling shows it's really close to vibration. So it's a word that you want to use only in a positive way. So you said that, right? You said you had a side coming or worse, you felt it coming. Remember that we are all vibrational beings. We use our five cents to translate the vibration around us. We're going to use our ear to translate the vibration of the sound. We're going to use the, our nose for translate the vibration of the smell, etc. I met a young woman one day and during our one of our conversations, she said to me, I feel like I will have cancer. She said that to me. I feel like I'm going to get cancer out of the blues. She was in perfect health at the time. At the time we were talking, she was perfect. No no reason for her to think about it. But due to her beliefs and thought process, there is an unusual chance for her to attract cancer in the future. And she will probably tell all her friends and family later, I knew it. I felt it coming. Whatever it is she used to whatever is thinking. When you are aware that we are vibrational beings that translate vibration all the time, we get that if you vibrate positive vibration, you will attract more positive vibration. Let me read this again. If you are vibrate, if you vibrate positive, positive vibration, let's say vibrate for feeling. If you start thinking good feeling thoughts, that is going to raise your vibration, you will attract more positive vibration. The universe is going to give you the what you focus most of the time. That's it. If you don't know this, right, I will write that down. The universe is going to give you what you expect all the time. If you expect to fail, you, you're going to get, you know, that's what you're going to get. If you expect to work hard for your money, it's the same. If you, if you think I'm lucky, if you think it's uh, easy to find a partner, whatever you think, that's what you're going to get. So if you vibrate positive, you're going to get positive vibration positive outcome but it works the same way right here if you look at the bottom it is the same for the opposite side negative emotion i want you to think about people around you there's many people who are negative we see them but they're not aware of that they don't they don't know what they don't know right but you'll see the way they think Look, if you look at anybody, you think if somebody is unhappy about their weight or their health or their finance or their love life, and you listen to them, you're going to see that what the way they think, the way they talk, the way they uh, communicate with you is not so much in a positive way. So that every time they communicate, every time they share their feeling, every time they think in a negative way, they attract more of the same. If you want to change your life, actually 20 seconds at a time, you have to be aware of the way you think. You have to be aware of what you expect. 
Abraham Hicks says in their book, uh, uh, Ask and it, and it is given, Ask and it is given. They say, if you don't expect it, you don't allow it. And that's really powerful, right? If you don't expect to earn a million dollars in the next year or two, well, you don't allow it. If you don't expect you'll, uh, you're you going to be married or you're going to have a really good relationship in the next six months, well, you're not allowing it. So you have ways to allow it. How do you allow it? That's a good question. You get a couple of processes that we talk about, right? We talk about the law of the universe. You can use these laws. You can use the imagination, the affirmation. You can start the way you vision. Soon we're going to be talking about uh, the... Um, Writing your story. I think that's the next chapter or the one after that. Very, very powerful process to help you change your vibration. Uh, let's keep going because uh, I think that's important. What's going on here? The good news is that all of us have feelings. And these feelings will tell you if you are feeling good or not so good. So if you feel good, you can say, let's say you get up in the morning, you're happy, you vibrate high. Your vibrate high meanings you are, you have a positive vibration. Look at that day and you're going to see, you're going to attract more of the same. You're probably going to have a good day. If for some reason you get up in the morning, you're not so happy, you're whatever reason, you're pessimistic or you're negative, you're going to see that during that day, more of the same is going to happen unless you change it, right? So the good news is that all of us are feeling, and this feeling will tell you if you're feeling good or not. So when you feel good, you can know that you are moving towards your goal. When you don't feel good, know that you're not moving forward your goals. So the goal really, excellent between me and you, it would be do everything in your power to feel good. Take a break once in a while. Take a nap. Do something different. If you get up in the morning, it's not working. Or if you perform a task that you don't like, if you can't, take a break. Come back later. I do this all the time. I'm trying to fix a problem or something. It's mm -hmm, not feeling so good right now. Take a break. Come back an hour later. Boom, it's done because I changed my vibration. So remember how you feel when you're aware of your, your emotion, how you feel towards a specific topic will tell you as a mindset in reference to that topic. I said that before. If you look at your bank account and you feel depressed, you're afraid, you feel like a lack, you don't feel abundance, you feel like injustice, right? life is not fair. These are, that only means that your mindset, the way you think, your expectation in relation to the topic of money is lack it's not about abundance however it's the same thing for health it's something it's the same thing about love uh same thing about peace of mind whatever you think about a specific topic will tell and that's going to be your results right actually yeah if you look at your bank account you're not happy about that's your result that means your your mindset in relation to that topic is not really good if you're always tired you're always sick you have no energy and that only means that your mindset in relation to this topic which is hell is not that much focused on the positive right so you need to change your expectation you need to change your mindset yeah when you have an active vibration this is the way you feel the love attraction will bring you more of the same Carefully choose which topic you want to pay attention to and set the proper expectation. Have a goal, have a plan. If you don't have any money in the bank, it's really easy to start five minutes tomorrow morning. You say, hey, you know what? I'm going to take five minutes. I'm going to focus on abundance. Maybe not abundance of money, but abundance of everything. Stars, grain of sand, lives, animals. Uh, what do you call these little creatures walking uh, spiders or whatever it is right you can think about abundance of everything abundance of love if the main thing is abundance of well-being all around you carefully choose which topic you want to pay attention to very important and set the proper expectation this is your future and you will start to shape it the way you want it to be this is that is your future and you will start to shape it the way you want it to be you have the power to attract to manifest whatever you want you have the power to become whoever you want you have the power to do anything you want the only thing you need to do is usually it's right here you start right here when you start believing that you can do things and you start you're going to see things going to happen it's, and most of the time it comes with ease you just need to align whatever you want to accomplish your mental and once in a while actually every single day not too long maybe 10 15 20 minutes half an hour do something every day in order for you to give yourself a chance to succeed expect to win that's all I can say. We're going to finish like this. Expect to win. Expect to get that lover not too long if that's what you want. Expect to get that million very soon if that's what you want. Expect to be in a better health 
if that's what you want. Expectation is everything. Expect to win. And I will say, give yourself a chance to win, but it starts right here. Guys, my name is Denny Mayu. I am a coach, a focus coach. I'm also a master coach. I help people to get what they want faster. But I want to talk a little bit. If I can go here, I'm going to close this one. Don't hang up right there. I want to say that if you are somebody who love to help people and you would like to get paid for it, go to my website, focus1isallcoaching.com and click on this uh, this uh, tab right here. I want to become a focus coach, read the instruction. And if you want to, uh, we can help you to become a top coach. That's what we do. We help people to help other people. So if you like to help people and you want to learn how, how to become a top coach, that's the first portion of the class. We're going to give you uh, we're going to give you the, t the schools, the technique, the practice. We're going to create a program with you. You're even going to practice with our own clients. So you can, so at the end of the 12 or 16 weeks, you're going to be able to go on your own. On the other part of it, it is more about the business. We're going to help you to sell it, to promote it, to market it, and everything about business. So Because you need both. You need to become a good coach, but that's not enough. You need the business aspect as well. We're going to teach you both for you to become successful. Guys, again, just if you don't want to do this, uh, just go to wwwfocus one coachingcom If you like this video and you would think somebody else might have some value out of it, Send them to my YouTube channel at focus one coachcom Guys, I got to go. I would like to say the same thing as usual. Stay well and stay focused on what? Stay focused on what you really, 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 really want. See you on the next video. See ya.